What's up everyone, welcome to another video. My name is Ryan Root, and for those of you new to our channel, we are full-time online resellers. We buy stuff and then we sell that stuff for a profit on platforms like eBay. And we are gonna be talking about eBay today. What I did is I put together a list of 20 unexpected items that you can go and sell on eBay for large profit. Now, when I say unexpected, it's stuff that you may not be aware of, items that you, you might've seen before and you didn't know that they were valuable. So I wanted to kind of switch it up I'm always showing clothing and shoes and electronics, but today I wanna to give you 20 items that you might just not be aware of. And like I said, everyone, I don't want this to come off as like a brag or an ego boost for myself, but we have been selling online full time for eight years. We've done millions of dollars online. And again, the only reason I tell you that is so that you understand where I'm coming from. We are considered an authority on stuff to sell on eBay. We've sold a ton of stuff on eBay. And most of the stuff that I'm gonna show you today are our own sales. One other thing that I do wanna mention before we jump into today's video is we are opening up, we have a reseller group online and we are opening up that group again probably within the next couple of weeks. There is a very small fee to join that group. It's $100 a year, but you get to go into a like-minded reseller group with sellers ranging from very beginners to people doing hundreds of thousands of dollars per month. So if you are interested in joining our group, I'll leave a link in the description of today's video, or you can just go to rallyroots.com, put in your email address, and we will shoot you an email when we open up the group. And then one more thing, if you do enjoy today's video, if you learned something from it, please do me a favor, hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment if you would like to, and consider subscribing to the channel because we put videos like this out all the time. Okay, let's jump into 20 items that you may not know sell for a lot of money on eBay. The first category is sealed VHS tapes. And when I talk about sealed VHS tapes, I'm not talking about the Disney black diamond tapes that everybody thinks sells for a lot of money. They typically don't, they're like Beanie Babies, but there are certain sealed VHS tapes that can sell for hundreds of dollars up to thousands of dollars. From what I've seen, they're usually pretty genre specific. So a lot of horror VHS tapes can be worth a lot of money. But again, it's kind of like with VHS tapes, it's it's one in maybe 10,000 that's gonna be worth a ton of money. And it just comes down to doing your research. You can also get VHS tapes graded, which can help increase the value. But even just standalone sealed VHS tapes like Jaws, for example, can sell for upwards of $1,000 plus. And something like a VHS tape at say a thrift store or a garage sale or a place like that's an estate sale, most of the time sellers are not gonna be aware that there are big collectors for sealed VHS tapes and sometimes you can get a really good deal. I've seen people pick them up for a couple bucks and literally sell them for $2,000. So keep an eye out for sealed VHS tapes. The second unexpected item, which we've mentioned this in our videos before, but just to refresh a little bit for people that are not aware, is car radios and specifically OEM, like stock car radio units, CD player radio units, even used. They can be new or used, but either way, that can be worth a lot of money. I'll give you this example right here. This is one of our actual listings. As you can see, we've sold 10 of these units for around $400 each. That's $4,000 worth of sales. Now that was a wholesale buy, but we've sold, we've probably sold over the years at least 200 used units as well on eBay anywhere from $50 all the way up to, I think the most expensive one we ever sold was $700, which I believe was a Mercedes unit. But the cool thing about stock car radio units is almost every single one has the stock car part number on it. And all you have to do is go to eBay, type in that stock number, go to sold, sort by what has recently sold and take a look at how much they're worth. And again, this is the type of item that usually is priced around like 10 to $20 at a garage sale. A lot of people will take the stock car radio, the OEM units out of their car in working condition just to replace it with like a more upgraded version of that radio. And then they'll sell that one on. And a lot of the times when we sell these units, we're actually selling them back to car dealerships because car dealers want the car complete stock as it was. So they'll buy the original OEM radio, take the one that the customer put in themselves and swap it out with the one that they bought from us, and then they can sell the car for more money. So always keep an eye out for those stock OEM car radio units. Next one up, this is one that I bet not a lot of you are gonna know about unless you are a hunter or you grew up hunting, duck 
decoys. There's some duck decoys, depending on the artist, depending on the signature, depending on the age, there's some duck decoys that can literally sell for thousands of dollars. Most of the time, they're not gonna be that valuable, but even like generic ones that don't have an artist signature can still sell for a lot of money, especially if you lot them up. So here's one of our listings. We have three ducks listed for $100. And those we picked up at an auction, I think we paid, I wanna say $17 for them. So even little sales like that, it's 10, $15 into $100, still really, really good profit in it. But every once in a while, possibly you can find a vintage duck decoy in the right style by the right artists of the right decade and maybe you'll be able to get a ton of money for a vintage duck decoy. Here's another one that is sometimes talked about but not often, board games. So like Monopoly, Risk, Board games can be worth a lot of money, especially like we found a lot of them at garage sales that are sealed. People get them as gifts or they buy them as gifts for people and then never give them or, you know, they get them as a gift and they just never play them. But there are board game collectors out there and board games can sell for a ton of money. The right game, vintage model, again, upwards of hundreds of dollars. I think the most expensive one we've ever sold was right around $200. Most of the time, like this Risk Call of Duty game, we found this one at a garage sale for $5. We listed it for $85 and we took a best offer on it of $70. But again, that's just another one to add to your things to be on the lookout for. Usually you're, you're really looking for those vintage games and one, one tip is you wanna make sure they are complete. Sometimes you can sell like parts and pieces from them, but the majority of the time when you're selling it on eBay to another collector, you want the games to be complete. So look on the box, how many pieces are supposed to be in the box and count them out if it's worth it, obviously. Count them out, make sure everything's there so that when you list the item, you know exactly what you're selling. Okay, so this next category we've actually made thousands and thousands of dollars in. It is healthcare and in particular hair products like conditioner and shampoo. This example right here, we picked up a lot of one conditioner. We got that lot at a flea market, believe it or not. Sealed, nice sealed. You always want the stuff to be sealed. Don't try to sell used shampoo or conditioner. But we picked this lot up at a flea market for $5 and we sold it on eBay for $77. And it sold very, very quickly. So again, healthcare stuff and especially hair stuff. People get attached to certain hair treatment and let's say it gets discontinued in the store and you can still sell it on eBay as long as it's not expired. You can still sell it on eBay sealed and people will buy it and you can make a lot of money selling hair care products. Here's another really cool category, thermostats. So literally home house thermostats, the little thing that controls the temperature of the air in your house, they can sell for a lot of money. And it's another thing that, you know, sometimes people Will, will replace their old thermostat with a brand new Nest system. And they'll put it up there and they'll just take their old one. Maybe they'll throw it out at a garage sale for a dollar or two. Even used, you can sell them used and as long as they're working, you can sell them used and get 50, 60, sometimes hundreds of dollars for thermostats. And again, sometimes you find them new as well. But just like the car radios, the value of a thermostat is very dependent on the model. So you want to go to eBay, type in the model number, look it up and go to solds and sort by not what people are asking. You never want to look at the prices that people are asking on eBay. You want to click on solds and look at what has actually sold in the past 90 days on eBay. So you can get an accurate idea of how much the stuff sells for. But again, thermostats are great. It's another one that we've made thousands on from garage sales, from auctions, one that a lot of people overlook and wouldn't think would resell for a lot of money on eBay. But believe it or not, a lot of contractors or a lot of people who are building a home and just need another thermostat, they'll buy them on eBay. Next one up, car manuals and motorcycle manuals. We've made so much money selling these and another one that usually people price at five, 10 bucks and they sell for, you know, on average when we sell a car manual, it's between 50 to $150. But a lot of people, let's say you're rebuilding a, a car and you want a specific year car manual for, you know, let's say like a 1977 Ford Mustang, you want the service manual from that because you're restoring a car with your kids, right? So that's not something that you can just go and buy at the store. You can't go to Advanced Auto Parts and get a 1977 Mustang car service manual. That is something that a lot of people list on eBay. The year matters, the type of car or the type of motorcycle mat does matter, but we've sold manuals for hundreds of dollars on eBay. Okay, so this next category, usually I would tell people to sell this type of item on Amazon. If you are ungated, if you're allowed to sell brands like this or products like this on Amazon, usually you're gonna get more money, but eBay is still a good place to sell it. And the type of item is voice recorders, vintage voice recorders, you know, the little like spy things where you click on the button and voice record or like that 
authors use or police stations use back in the day to <laughs> press down and re record someone's voice, basically. And brand and condition do definitely matter. Sony, Panasonic, those are gonna be like your top of the line. New in the package, they're gonna go for a ton more money, but even used, they can sell for a lot of money. Another one that can sell for $50, $150, but there's a few, if you can find the right model, that can sell for two, three thousand dollars Next up, one of my favorite categories to sell in, knives. And I'm not just talking about pocket knives, which are great. Like we've sold some case knives for a couple hundred dollars, two, three hundred dollars. I actually found one recently at a garage sale for eight dollars that we have listed for upwards of three hundred dollars, but will probably sell for around, I don't know, maybe two hundred dollars. But even so, case knives, really, really good. Some pocket knives can be worth a lot of money. But in addition to that, kitchen knives like Cutco, Cutco steak knives, Cutco, like the block sets of knives, they're worth so much money and they sell so fast on eBay, it will blow your mind sometimes. Take this example, we found a open box set of brand new Cutco steak knives at a thrift store. I believe we paid $15 for them and they sold very, very quickly for right around $170. And that was for a set of four Cutco steak knives. So imagine what like a whole set of Cutco like chef knives and stuff would sell for. But yes, when it comes to knives, condition matters, brand matters, but keep an eye out, not just for the pocket knives, but also for stuff that people buy all the time. I always tell people, look out for common consumables. What I mean by that is there are certain items that people buy every single day. It doesn't just take a collector to find something that they've been looking for for a while. Those common consumables, like for example, the shampoo and conditioner that I was talking about, those are the items that pay the bills, in my opinion, as a reseller. The items that people constantly come back and constantly buy over and over again. They buy it, they consume it, they use it, and then they need it again, so they go back and buy it again. Those are the items that keep the lights on, keep the money, flowing in. The next item, the next category that I want to talk about that you might not be aware of, and we see these all the time at garage sales, at flea markets, portable GPS units, and in particular, Garmin portable GPS units. It's one that ranges again, but some of these things can be worth hundreds and hundreds of dollars, even in used condition. And I'm not talking about like the Tom Tom that goes in the car and tells you where to go. Some of those can be okay, but I'm talking about the portable handheld ones that let's say I'm going hiking out in the I don't know, wilderness somewhere. And I need a GPS unit that connects to a satellite to keep me safe so I know exactly what direction to go and where I am exactly in the wilderness. That's gonna be your little Garmin GPS handheld unit. And some of those things can sell for a ton of money. We've sold, I don't know, we've sold at least 50 of them. Usually, again, that's one that's gonna sell for, for us, depending on the model, model matters. It's gonna sell from 50 bucks to 150, $200. But there are outliers that can fetch you for five, $600. And again, Garmin brand, that's the brand that you wanna look out for when it comes to those handheld portable GPS units. Okay, next up, this is a category that I'm actually super passionate about. I am a coffee snob and espresso machines. If you can find commercial espresso machines, they can be worth $5,000 plus. I've seen them go for, I mean, like a, a really, really nice brand new commercial espresso machine. A coffee shop might pay $40,000 for that. That is the main expense when you are opening up a coffee shop, is that espresso machine. They can be tens of thousands of dollars. So if you can find them used and they're in good condition and you can resell them, and you know, obviously if you're comfortable shipping such a large item, you can get so much money for espresso machines. And then there's like little ones, like a little one group or two group machine, or even like the little one that we have at home, a Breville Barista Express. You can still get a few hundred dollars for those. So if you find them, make sure they are working, give them a nice polish, give them a clean, and you could, again, that's one that you can make thousands on. So this next one is actually a category that is, is fairly new to me. I didn't know that this was a thing until recently, but now I do, and I've probably walked past so many of these at estate sales. And, and not even known, but the category is paperweights. Vintage paperweights, some of them can be worth so much money. I was just on eBay looking and check this one out. A set of three Viking glass ruby red mushrooms sold for $2,000. And there's art glass ones, there's ones with flowers in them, but these things can sell for thousands of dollars and I had no idea. So uh, now I know, this is a new one for me, now I know. Be on the lookout for vintage paperweights. That's one that we haven't, again, we haven't sold very many of these, or we haven't sold any of them actually, but it's one that our friends told us about to be on the lookout for, and now I'm always looking. Art glass, looking for little things within the paperweights, and now I know they, they can sell for a lot of money on eBay. Now here's an item that we do know a lot about because it's in the 
clothing category. And specifically, there's really two brands in this category that you want to keep an eye out for, in my opinion. There's Trip, T-R-I-P-P, -P, New York, and Jinko. And what it is, is like goth wear type items, especially the pants, the ones with like the big buckles on it, or like big straps and kind of like just the, the big pants. <laughs> Y2K or 2000s to mid 2000s is all the rage right now, especially with the younger generation. They want this look and they're paying for it. So there are Trip New York pants that sell for three, $400. There's Jinko's again that sell for three, $400. So those two brands, if you're just going to focus on particular goth brand items, Trip NYC and Jinko would be the type of brands that you wanna look out for. This next category is one that I didn't know about until Allie, my wonderful wife Allie, picked up a little Native American Cochina doll at, I think we were at an estate sale. No, it was at a thrift store. At a thrift store, it paid like $2 for it and it sold for, I think two or $300. But some of these wonderful little Native American carved dolls, if it's by a certain artist or if it's signed or you can date it back to the right year, they can be worth so much money, hundreds to thousands of dollars. And and typically they're small, they're very easy to ship. Obviously you wanna package them up nicely. Um, but after that one sale that Ali found that one and we flipped it for, for hundreds of dollars, after we had that sale, now we know to always look out for the little, little Native American Kachina dolls. Okay, so the next one, some of you might not wanna sell this item. I totally understand, I grew up religious, but Bibles, antique, vintage, whatever you wanna call it, typically antique, Bibles can fetch a ton of money. And when I say a ton of money, I'm talking about thousands of dollars. Just like any rare book, there are certain Bibles that are first prints or first editions or, you know, like the first print of a particular Bible in England. If it's in good condition, if it can be authenticated, can be worth thousands of dollars. So I kind of put rare antique Bibles in the same category as any rare book and there's a ton of value there. There's people that specifically collect religious artifacts and they're looking for stuff like that. So if you're not against it and you're open to selling Bibles and you can find a, a vintage antique Bible, check out eBay, check out selling them on eBay because some of them can sell for a ton of money. So here's another category that Ali told me about, cross stitch patterns. I had no idea, I guess it's a thing, I had no idea, but cross stitch patterns, certain ones can be worth hundreds, sometimes thousands of dollars. There's one in particular, the Kincaid Disney Dreams cross stitch, Winnie the Pooh. That one has sold recently for over a thousand dollars. So cross stitch patterns, little things that you, you stitch it up and it makes like a cool little, you know, art piece can be worth a ton of money. I think right now people are kind of collecting or going back to collecting a lot of mid-century stuff. We've noticed like mid-century ornaments, mid-century kitchen items, mid-century furniture has made quite a reemergence. It's always been valuable, but it's it's made a big comeback recently, especially in the younger generation. People are after quality stuff again, and there's a lot of mid-century stuff that people are enjoying. You know, even Allie, she has a whole room or, or idea for our guest room that's dedicated to mid-century stuff. She's collecting stuff right now to make that room like it was mid-century. So people like our age and a little bit younger are collecting stuff like that. But again, I, I went on a bit of a tangent there, but cross-stitch patterns can be worth a lot of money and another one that usually is priced fairly low when you find them. And then again, in that same kind of realm, this is an item that we used to actually not pick up. We would always look for like uh, like 90s bed sheets, 90s comforters, 90s blankets, and Pendleton, stuff like that. But we weren't really going after those, those handmade quilts. And some of those handmade quilts can be worth hundreds and hundreds of dollars. I'm talking about the ones that your grandma used to make, you know? At home, spent hours and hours making these beautiful, intricate quilts. Well, guess what? People collect those and they'll pay a ton of money for them. And we see them at estate sales and garage sales all the time. And typically we found that they're priced fairly. They're usually priced under $50. And again, if it's the right size, right condition, right pattern, some patterns are worth more than others. Like there's a particular pattern called Cathedral Window that sells for hundreds of dollars. If it's, again, good condition, right size, it can sell for hundreds of dollars. But even, you know, the ones that are not that intricate can still go for one or two hundred dollars. So if you pick up quilts for the right price, it's a great item to add to your be on the lookout for list. All right, so this next one is gonna throw you for a loop. If you're not aware, it can be a bit weird but I'm telling you, there's money there. Check this out. Vintage briefs, vintage underwear, vintage jock straps. I know, I know, not used. You can't sell used underwear on eBay, but new. If you can find them brand new in the packaging or brand new with the tag still on them, unworn, 
guys, they sell for a lot of money. I don't know why. I honestly don't. All I know is that people will buy them. And sometimes thrift stores do get them and they'll get multiples of them. So like, let's say you find a bunch of old 80s Fruit of the Loom men's briefs, you can lot them up together. And I'm telling you, you can get hundreds of dollars for these things. If you don't believe me, go and find some new and sealed and list them and just watch, just watch. Okay, so this next one kind of falls back into that whole people trying to buy back their childhoods or their teenage years probably. Lava lamps, certain ones can sell for a lot of money, like the space age ones, they have to be working or sometimes they, I guess they don't have to be working, but you want them to be complete in good condition. There's like the floor, tall floor ones that can sell for a lot of money, but even like the old lunar lava lamps can sell for a ton of money, hundreds to thousands of dollars, depending on which one you have. I remember when I was a kid, I actually remember going to like Walmart and buying lava lamps. Those ones are probably not worth that much money unless they're sealed in the, in the original packaging. But I'm talking about like OG lava lamps people are buying back and some of them can be worth a lot of money. So just keep an eye out for those. I think that was item number 19. So I think this is the last one. And this is very fitting because as a reseller, this is something that we use very often. We don't use this brand. We use a brand called Rolo, which has been great. We use the, the wired in one, not the wireless one, but we've used our Rolo printer for, I don't know, five years and tens of thousands of labels through that exact same printer. But the one that I'm currently talking about is Dymo. Certain Dymo label writer printers, like the Dymo label writer 450 turbo, I believe they got discontinued. A lot of people love using those Dymo. It's like the only one they'll use. They swear by it, those uh, Dymo thermal printers and the value of them has shot through the roof. I I'm sure a lot of people, a lot of other resellers are probably gonna hate me for sharing this information because not a lot of people know that the value of them has really, really skyrocketed, but you know, everybody should be able to eat. So if you see Dymo label writer printers out at thrift stores or garage sales and you can get them cheap enough, they can be worth a lot of money. And it's another one that sells quick, which is exactly what we want as a reseller. We want quick turnaround, big profits. And that's what today's video was all about. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much. Again, please hit the thumbs up button if you haven't yet. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet and leave a comment if you haven't yet. Love you all so much. See you on the next one. I'm Ryan Ritz. Later. Bye-bye.